And it's all about the reaction times here. It's qualifying number one, race number two here at Lillian Hill. And as you can see, it's going to be Ovenden going into the Joker lap, and it's going to be Fitney as well. The front three then do indeed stay out. And I'll tell you what, there's a big mistake then on the outside by Jake Thorne it is. So Jack Thorne runs wide there. He's going to lose two positions, I think, here. It's a beautiful start from Godfrey. Vitols then, of course, he is looking to try and close that championship lead. As it stands, he is actually 18 points behind uh, in the championship. So he really does need to make a run this weekend. And ultimately, he's going to have to settle for third position as we come up to the top end down Harry Hill for the first time. It is a superb start then for Julian Godfrey. He would indeed come through to take P1 across the line. Three laps to go here. And again, he will stay out. Just keep that clear air. He is in a golden position. No curb being used then on entry through that final chicane. On exit though, Thorne does take a little bit of curb then. And Vitols comes into the Joker here. And well, how quick is it going to be? And actually, it's a mistake there from Godfrey. It's a change of a lead. It's brilliant stuff then from Thorne. And Thorne now in the Peugeot takes the lead of this race with what? Two and a half laps to go through the Devil's Elbow. And Godfrey's going to be absolutely gutted there. Just run into the turn number one a little bit too hot. Indeed, then just tacks the wall on the exit and ultimately uh, was just easy pickings there. And actually, Thorne's made a mistake here as well. So all of a sudden here, Vitols with a chance. Vitols in P3, as it stands, has taken his Joker. And while he has a chance to potentially take the lead of this race, Thorne then, is he going to stay out here as he comes across the line? We're on lap number three of four. So we're at a halfway point here in Godfrey into the Joker lap here. And well, does Vitols get him? As we see, indeed, Thorne holding on to this lead here. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't take the Joker on the final opportunity. And what about the merge here? Has Godfrey got it? I think he has. Godfrey, is he holding on to P2? Haven't exactly seen where... Uh, we have not exactly seen where Vitols was on circuit here. So Vitols may have had a bit of an issue here. Or is Vitols already... No, Vitols is... Uh, had a proper issue, he's not on our screen. So he's actually currently down at P4. So it looks like he might be able to make some moves here in this race, but it's not quite worked out. So Godfrey does indeed take P2. Ovenden, who took the Joker straight off the bat in lap number one, he is indeed going to hold on to P3. And now it's all about Thorne here. Does Thorne decide to take the Joker? He does. So he's taking the Joker here on the final lap. Of course he is, he has to, into the Joker. He comes on the power nice and early. Doesn't really have too much pressure on here. There's Godfrey in behind, and he is pushing here, nearly taxed the wall on the exit of turn one down towards the devil's elbow it's not quite going to be enough i don't think here and well it was a good start from jack thorne then he was under pressure from godfrey godfrey got past but ultimately thorne here has been the thorn in the side of godfrey he will indeed be in the lead here with only two corners to go and it's all about now really the lap time or the race time what sort of time is it going to be? A lot of backwards and forth here, so it's going to be very tough to beat Toehill's time. But as we come up towards the final chicane here and the start finish line, it is indeed going to be Jack Thorne that takes the victory here. And it's brilliant stuff from him. Godfrey is going to be a little bit gutted, but showing some serious pace. It's going to be right in the mix this weekend, that is for sure. It's going to be Ovenden who will take P3. Vitols then in P4. He's going to be a little bit disappointed. And Flitney never really got going for him, unfortunately, in P5.